again i am taking this timeline uh, this is very important timeline in financial mathematics everywhere you have to make this timeline so 0 and 1 and i am saying at the time 0 i am investing 100 rupees and i have to accumulate this 100 rupees and i is the effective rate of return if simply i if i am writing it will always be the effective rate of return for an uh we are considering so i so we can write 100 into 1 plus i and this is your accumulated value okay and if again i am trying to take another nominal rate of return i4 which is which is uh, which is the nominal rate of return for an on table quarterly and we have to find out that what is the value of i4 uh, equivalent value of i4 uh, with i what it means if i am calculating something at the rate i so this is the result we are getting and if i am having i do not know what is the value of i4 so simply we can write i4 by 4 to the power 4 and this is equal to accumulated accumulated value and i am saying that if i am using two rate of return and i am saying that after one year the accumulated value is same if i am assuming if i am assuming accumulated value uh, at the end of one year by by the uh, at the both uh, rate of return are same that means in the first equation i am getting here 100 into 1 plus i and the second equation i am getting 100 into 1 plus i 4 by 4 in both cases if the accumulated value which we are getting here is both are as we are assuming it is equal if both are equal if both are equal so this is uh 100 1 plus i is equal to 100 1 plus i4 by 4 to the power 4 and this i can cancel and i am having 1 plus i is equal to 1 plus i4 by 4 so i is equal to 1 plus i4 by 4 to the power 4 minus 1 So this is the formula. In general, we can write here one plus i p by p to the power p minus one.
So if suppose I am taking P is equal to 2, then we can put here, if P is equal to 4, this we can say quarterly. If one unit period is one year we are considering, 2 it is half yearly. If P is equal to 12, we can say it is monthly and so on. So this is the simplest way for the conversion to I to IP. So if now so I am saying I4 is given 10% then If we have 100 at times 1 and we have I4, then we have to calculate present value. Then to calculate P, V, V, V. Uh, yes, we, we, we have to use V, but in that case, V here is 1 upon 1 plus I. And you are saying, you are asking if 100 at time 1, 100 at time 1, 100 at time 1 and we have I4, so I4 is there, so what is the present value? So for this present value, we can write 100 into V, that is okay, but now because of I4, we can write this thing 100 into 1 upon 1 plus I4 by 4 to the power 4. Is it clear? This portion in the bracket is 1 upon 1 plus I. And in place of Y, we have to use the effective rate of return, so we can convert simply I4 by 4, and that will be your effective quarterly rate of return. And after that, for one year, in place of one year, you can use four quarters. So it will be 100 into 